Hello, this is a video on using the Spooky 2 as a frequency meter. This is the first part, part one. And we're going to show you how to connect it up. I would like to suggest that you download and print the user using Spooky as a frequency meter PDF off of the Aurora Sky website. And then you'll have a hard copy to follow. There seems to be a one-for-one. One. In other words, I've done this several times and doing this exactly as it's stated in the PDF seems to work. So let's uh, go through the process. Uh, step one, uh, connect the alligator clips provided by the Spooky to the external connection on the Spooky 2 frequency generator. The cable I'm referring to is this one right here and it comes with the Spooky Basic uh, beginning kit unit and right where I'm pointing right here let's see if we can get this in the display this connector right here where my finger is over this one right here that's the external input that we can use you can also use the TTL but I'm suggesting the external input because it will handle plus or minus voltages and I just connected the cable to it and the next thing it says pick one of the cords from a PF mag coil so I have a second unit right here a second by fuller um, magnetic coil and it said pick one of these units it doesn't really care which one you use and polarity is not important. So I'm going to connect an allocator clip to each one of the AC prong. Voila. And that seems to work. Okay, the next one is uh, step three after connecting the power supply. Turn, uh, to the Spooky, turn on the power switch and turn on the PEMF. Okay, so here's the Spooky, it has no power right now. Here's the connector. I'm going to plug it in and we'll put it in the display window. And I turned it on, and you can see it's coming to life. You can see the little welcome screen, and there it is. The Spooky 2 is now on. Step four, place the second mag coil about a half an inch away from the primary. So here we have a, where my hand is, we have a PEMF connected, plugged into power, and we have a coil plugged into the PEMF. And now we're going to use a, another coil as a sensor, and we're going to put it about a half inch away. And we're going to. I was, I, what I'm doing is I'm reading the directions, okay? Uh, we've done that, okay? Press the F3 uh, button next to the label. And the label reads function. So that's the F3 button. I'm going to press it. It says once. And it says source, and I'm going to press it twice, and now it says TTL um, in. Okay, I want to change that TTL, and by the way, I'm looking at the very middle part of the screen on the Spooky, the very middle part. Okay, I want to change that TTL in by pressing the F2 button, and that F2 button has the word external I in it. Boom, and the, in the very middle of the screen now it says uh, input source external in. So that's the connector that we have connected the cable up to. So we're doing good so far. Okay, that was. Okay, we're moving on. That was step six. Moving on to step seven. We're going to press the F1 button, which is the return one time. 
And then we're going to go to step eight, which is press the F5 button, down arrow, one time. That's a symbol. And voila! We have a screen now on the spooky display that has an M.F, which means measure frequency, uh, M.T, which means measure time, and an M.C, which means measure count. We're going to measure frequency. We're going to use the Spooky 2 as a frequency meter. So I'm going to press the F2 button, and it brings up um, an option where I can have either high resolution display for the frequency, which means I can only read up to about a kilohertz, which is fine for the PEMF. And that's where I want to go, so I'm going to press that uh, uh, high resolution. It's actually called low uh, frequency, meaning it, it reads low frequency better than high frequencies. So I'm going to press the F3 button one time. And we're all set to actually measure. We are ready to measure. So let's turn on the PMF. I haven't turned it on yet, so I'm going to turn it on now. And dial in something. Yep, there it is. It's flashing. Dialed in a little bit of a frequency there. And I'm going to connect up the oscilloscope because I want to show a few things here with the oscilloscope. Now, you're going to have to take my word that the Spooky is registering the frequency. And I will show you the actual readout in uh, video two of this presentation. The reason why I had to break this up into two presentations because you can't see the detail on the Spooky screen. But you can see the pulsing on the uh, scope in the back. And we're reading about 2 hertz, 2.22 hertz. That's what the Spooky is telling me. Please believe it's saying that. And you will see the change in video two. You will see the screen because I do a zoom up on the screen only. So uh, that's all you can see basically. And you can see a little bit of the, the light bulb. So you know it's actually flashing. And you can see the rates correlate the frequency and the speed of the light bulb uh, flashing. But what I want to show you here right now is very relevant to using this and what speed does. We're firing at right now, according to the Spooky, at 2.3 hertz per second. And you can see the spike pulse on the screen. It's, you can see the very beginning. I'm triggering on, I've got it set up, the scope set up, so it triggers on the leading edge of the spike. And I'm going to turn that down a little bit, down to one hertz. And if you can notice that, whoops, I'm a little sub sub one hertz, 0.64. Uh, there we go. We're at 1.07 hertz. If you noticed that the spike went a little higher. So here's the important part I want to make. The slower the speed, the stronger the pulse. I'll say that one more time. The slower the speed, the stronger the pulse. I'm going to dial it up to 10. I'm going to go past the binaural 4 hertz and uh, or the binaural 4 hertz and the uh, Shoma resonance. And I want you to watch the scope and watch how the pulse shrinks. I'm dialing it up to, and you can see the light flashing faster. And I'm right now real close to 10. 7.9.9, uh, 10, 10.0, 10.11. And notice the spike is much smaller. In fact, you can see two spikes coming into the field of view because it's the scope is set up that way. Um, the scan rate. So again, I, the point here I wanted to make was after you saw the connections was to notice that the stronger the pulse, the slower the pulse. The less, the lower the pulse, the faster the pulse. Um, the less strength in the pulse it correlates with going faster. I do not know which is better, more pulses per second or stronger pulses um, at a slower rate. 
I'm sure there is a benefit one way or another, and they might both have their place in um, uh, the, the healing, excuse me, in the healing modality. So that is a introduction to the spooky being used as a frequency meter. View video two, and you'll actually see the display. Now you know how to connect it up. Use the PDF as a guide, and this video to uh, support the guide. Thank you very much.